in him, we have a new nature. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 24. And that you put on the new man, which was created according to God, in true righteousness and holiness. The Apostle Paul, writing in Ephesians and unveiling the truth about our life in Christ, of who we are in Christ, among the many things that he unveils in Ephesians, in verse 24 of chapter 4, he says that this new man that we have become in our spirit is created according to God or is created in the image of God. So this new person, your spirit man, has now, which is born again, which is a new creation. The truth about your spirit man is your spirit man is now in the image of God. It is in the very likeness of God and its characteristics are it is righteous and holy. You know, your new man is filled with the very nature of God. It is filled with righteousness and holiness. It is created in the image of God. In 2 Peter 1, verses 3 and 4, the Apostle Peter lets us know that uh, through the precious promises that God has given to us, we have become partakers of the divine nature. We are partakers, we share in the very nature of God. So, the new man that you've become is a new in nature, the nature of God. That's your spirit. Your spirit has been created in the image of God. Its nature is divine. It's the nature of God. It is, its nature is righteousness and holiness. And the Apostle Paul says, you put that on. That means you let, you live out of that spirit man that you are. This man who is the, the spirit being in you, which is created in the image of God, which has the life and the nature of God, which is righteousness and holiness, live out of that, put on that person. So that means when people see you, they see you as a person who walks in righteousness and holiness. They see you as a person walking in the very nature of God, righteousness and holiness. This is so important for us to understand. You see, many believers go around saying, I have a sinful nature. No, you don't have a sinful nature. You have the divine nature of God. Your flesh may be sinful. Your mind may have sinful thoughts and it needs to be renewed and cleaned up. The flesh needs to be crucified. But in your spirit, you have a divine nature. Your spirit is created in the image of God. So stop saying you have a sinful nature. You don't have a sinful nature. Recognize that your spirit man is righteousness and holiness created in the image of God. And Paul says, put it on, put on holiness, righteousness, put on the nature of God. That's who you are in the spirit, in him. You have new nature, the nature of God. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you'll open our minds and our understanding to who we are in Christ and to live out of that, to put on this new man, which is in the image of God, which is a partaker of divine nature, which is filled with righteousness and holiness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org. 